The skeleton tank was an experimental prototype tank built in 1918 by the Pioneer Tractor Company, Winona, Minnesota, designed with several innovative features, some of which were controversial at the time. The skeleton tank project did not proceed beyond the single prototype tank design. The objective of this prototype was to develop a lightweight vehicle capable of crossing wide trenches in a manner similar to the then conventional, heavy British tanks. Unlike the British tanks with the fully enclosed chassis, the skeleton tank achieved the requisite lozenge shape by supporting its tracks with a skeleton-like framework formed from ordinary iron pipes, joined by standard plumbing connections. Suspended between these track frames was an armored fighting compartment carrying a machine gun turret. The engines were also housed in this armor-protected box. This arrangement dramatically reduced the weight of the vehicle as compared to the larger British and French tanks while preserving the trench-crossing capabilities of those machines, and there was a belief that most enemy bullets and cannon rounds would pass harmlessly through the structure. However, it eliminated the possibility of mounting weapons in sponsons as in the British tanks and thus limited the armament that could be carried. Motive power consisted of two Beaver 50 horsepower four cylinder engines with a final drive joining to a gearbox suspended between the rear horns of the tracks. This allowed a maximum speed of 5 miles per hour. Specifications The skeleton tank weighed 9 tons and carried a boxy fighting compartment protected by a half inch of armor, which was in line with the armor thicknesses on other Allied tanks. A crew of two consisted of the driver and the commander, gunner who manned the 30 caliber machine gun in the turret. It was 25 feet long, which compared favorably in trench crossing potential to the then standard heavy British MKIV and MKV tanks with lengths of 26 feet 5 inches but weights of 28 to 29 tons, and the French Schneider CA1 and Char Dassus and Chamond with lengths of 19 feet 9 inches and 28 feet 11 inches and weights of 13.5 and 23 tons respectively. It was 8 feet 5 inches wide, narrower than the 10 feet to 12 feet 5 inches of the British tanks, and slightly higher at 9 feet 6 inches vice 8 feet 8 inches for the MKIV V due to its turret. It was never ordered into production. Survivor, the cosmetically restored skeleton tank is preserved under a canopy at the United States. States Army Ordnance Museum at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland.